what's up everybody it's your boy duty back again with another video this one is going to be a very sad one so get your tissues get ready to cry we're definitely going to be playing some white run and yeah i decided for our boy phil being on his day off and that he's been having a cold streak lately with his tips and not getting enough tips i thought that i would visit pig pig go and just see how many videos are out there with our where our boys complaining about low tips and low support and boy i found several thousand of those videos so i picked a few let's play them and let's go down memory lanes queue up white run This week, sadly, this is, you know, pretty slow support. I don't know why. Right now, it is still uh, Chef Damaski in, in Buenos Aires, Argentina. He's in the lead for next week. Last, absolute last chance for anyone to beat that 2499 Super Chat. Last chance. Worship, slow support kind of game. The first one was. I can definitively tell you guys the first Horizon was like that five years ago. I remember distinctly that was the year I became a full-time streamer for the first time, and I was trying to find games that would work for the streams, and I was shocked that that one wasn't working. That people were outright telling me, man, it's boring. And I remember just, I was telling them. Kind emojis in the chat, Kim. Kind emojis. I balance it with other stuff because I'm basically not getting good, good attendance and support on those streams. And, and already the first day is like this. Makes me feel like this may be the same movie forward i'm not sure <clears throat> now if you watch all my videos on demand okay please if you're watching the horizon playthrough now and if you're liking it oh, okay i like i like this playthrough that feels good please give likes on the videos and please leave comments on the, comments on the videos i have to ask for this outright here's why <clears throat> yesterday the king of fighter streams giant attendance great engagement on the streams videos on youtube are actually doing quite poorly they're slow for views and slow for likes and slow for comments. I don't know why. Okay. But attendance was low. Support was low. And any time I played it, you had a couple people coming in complaining that they wished I would do anything else. Why won't you play another game? In this, in this case, I'm not even kidding. Yesterday when I was playing the game, why, why don't you just play Skyrim again? Why don't you bring Skyrim back to the daytime streams and make this a late night chill stream? Because this game's boring. And I'm like, just start it literally just fucking started how can it's because you're boring pimp you're boring you make the games unbearable to watch and you are terrible you take great games and make them so 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 boring to the point where i i can't tolerate it sometimes when i'm reviewing your channel and your videos i i i want to jump out a window that's how boring you are that's how utterly boring you make these games, Pimp. All right, let's keep going. Can you make a judgment that the entire game is going to be boring when we just started? I don't get it. Really, I don't get it. Uh, I mean, a very low support night, but there's not much you can do about it. Uh, it is what it is. I had a good time returning to Bug Snacks. I hope that you guys enjoyed the playthrough. The main game a year and a half ago, we'll be back for Bug Snacks. Day. Bug snacks, really? Bug snacks? And I definitely think there's potential for a sequel, but I don't know if they'll ever do one. Well, you mean you'll ever play it again because you didn't get the tips you wanted? It's been one of those playthroughs. Low attendance, low support, okay? The thing is, I really enjoyed it. I've actually really enjoyed playing the game because I have not had many star wars experiences on my streams in the last few years what did we have two years ago we played knights of the old republic and i think it was right before that was jedi fallen order before then it was the battlefront games which weren't very good um you know star wars content <clears throat> is definitely lacking in the video game department uh in the last decade honestly you know it hasn't been very good stuff except for a few exceptions here or there so to actually play a Lego game that went through the history of the Star Wars movies and for me to re-experience all those movies, which I haven't actually watched or, or even talked about 
in a very long time has been very fun and right lego star wars jedi fallen order squadron battlefront 2 near the end got really good those are four star wars games that he played that he was super boring at and sucked and he was terrible and that's the reason why he didn't get any support that's the reason why nobody came out to play to watch him because he was so effing boring all right let's keep going and i say that this last time it was very very low support i think i made 20 bucks seriously so obviously i want to play these nice throwback games i want to make better versions to play through, but i do need buy-in and support from everyone so Tomorrow, I hope you will come by and have nice, relaxing streams with me, and if you can, support them, all right? I'm off from streaming on Tuesday. <clears throat> this coming week will be a balance between WWE. Spoiler alert, they didn't come to watch the streams. They were super boring. Enjoying the playthrough, please consider supporting it in any way, whether that means liking the stream, liking the video, leaving a comment on the video, a membership, a gifted membership, a super chat, a super sticker, a super thanks, or a tip. Right now, tips would help way more than anything because my day off is Tuesday. Uh, so far today, an incredibly slow support stream with only eight dollars in tips, so it sure would be great if we could get that going. Thank you. It's about, it's about a balance, and it's about variety, right. I learned my lesson when I did the Summer of Retro 2013, the backlash that I got. So now, can I play retro games? Yes, I'm playing Zelda right now. But I balance that with other stuff so it's not all retro shit. You see? It, and I'm, my mantra and my way of thinking is, has been as since I became a full-time streamer. As long as I'm having fun and you're having fun and there's a good time to be had, then the support will come. Uh, apparently your mantra is wrong because the support isn't coming, pimp. Very, very, you know, low support stream because not a non-monetized event, you know what I'm saying? Uh, alright, that's it, guys. I'm done. I'm beat. I'm, I'm, I'm th throwing the towel here. Fuck. I gotta go relax. So, have a good night. I'll see you all tomorrow for real gameplay. Back to business. Nope. So, thank you, Party Boy, for the biggest tip of the night. Only the second tip of the night. Incredibly slow support tonight, which sucks. Because not only am I playing an incredibly difficult game, but uh, tomorrow's my day off. Why the hell did I put that there? Oh, crying emojis game. in the chat, spam. Crying emojis. The game has broken my brain. for tips really slow so thank you for anyone who is uh helping out in any way all right so read derek's fact ringo star turned 82 in july 7 paul mccartney turned 80 damn there you go i mean pretty crazy right good stuff so guys i would like to say thank you again Everyone who comes and chills with me every Friday night for Friday Night Fights, I appreciate that. Thank you. Anyone who contributed in any way, thank you. In particular, obviously, thank you so much, Jax Rasher. If it weren't for you, you know, tips would have been really, really bad tonight. But because of you, they were okay, and I appreciate that. But thank you to everyone who super chatted. There actually was a good amount of super chats tonight as well and everything. All right. Almost no support. I think I got I made $16 in tips and almost nothing else. Uh, and sadly, I can say it with Multiverses the last couple of nights right has kind of been similar similar situation and i hope that it's not a pattern you know what i mean like i hope that the late night streams now for some odd reason are always going to be low support i don't know what's been going on in regards to certain games i'm playing on late night streams but yeah it is a little bit worrying and disheartening when you know i'm doing my best to do variety like last night i tried to do F fighters history almost no support whatsoever <laughs> multiverses almost that game was so boring you Phil were so boring ah jeez I feel like it feels like I'm talking to a big rock you know that's just there and doing nothing and being just a big lump and I'm trying to talk to some common sense of that damn rock and that rock is Phil and they just don't pay attention ah please 
Then I have to stop the Joker before it's too late. Joker Bogo through the dollar videos. Every time I hear the announcer say continue, I'm expecting to hear a countdown like an arcade game. Yeah, definitely. It, it's definitely arcade vibes like Street Fighter or another fighting game in arcades for sure. Here we go. Thank you two for your tips. Now we're up to $5 in tips. Again, guys, the best way to help me tonight would be tipping me. Tips have been very slow the last few days. It would be great to have some tips tonight. And uh, thanks to anyone who's just chilling. And everything was good, you know, support, everything was good. And then, the Grand Theft Auto Trilogy came out. And it was almost like I had never played Guardians. Seriously, it was like, like the game was forgotten, like no one even knew it existed. All the attendance immediately shifted to the GTA streams. Every time I play GTA now, you know, attendance is great, support's great, I'm not gonna complain, but it's weird, because it's like, whenever I go back to Guardians, it's as if I'm not playing it. But you know, you know what I mean? Like, attendance is, is tiny, uh, support is slow, it's weird. It's very odd how everything just shifted to one and not the other, when originally this game did have support those first couple of streams. <clears throat> okay. Played this game, support is slow, and there's nothing I can do about it, right? I'm kind of accepting it at this point. It's like, would it be nice to have more support? Yes. Are we going to get it? Not necessarily. And I'm not going to keep beating that, that, that dead horse. I'm just going to say, thank you to those who did contribute, and let's continue. Okay. <laughs> Mind you, this was, I think he put in 150 hours into Lost Judgment? Okay. You expected to get, you expected to milk this? You did the same thing with Skyrim. That's why you stopped playing it. You finished it up because you were milking it. And no one was yet, uh, no one was coming to tip you for it. On any of this, there was a lot of opinions being thrown at me with no consensus. So I made the ruling. I think we should play Ghostwire Tokyo. It looks original. It looks unique and interesting. And now that I played it for six hours, I can tell you, the game is original and unique and interesting. It doesn't feel like a game I've played. Are there elements from other games in it? that I played, yes, but the game feels completely unique in what it is. That's a good thing in this day and age. We're playing so many games that feel like they were copy and pasted off of each other to the point where we can even say, open world game, tons of side content, most of it's not meaningful, grind, 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 boring stuff. You can talk about how many games are like that today. There's a bunch of them out right now that just came out in the last month, right? This is different. This is something interesting, okay? Um, and I'm having a great time with it, streaming it, but here's what I've noticed. Whenever I stream it, viewership dwindles, and people basically, half the time in the stream, are completely disengaged from the game. They start changing the subject, they start talking about topics that have nothing to do with the game, and essentially they derail it. Now, I've been lenient about it, but I'm kind of wondering what's going on. Because it's a new release, it's actually different, entertaining, unique, it takes ch ch chances where other games don't. I'm loving it. So what's going on with the viewership and my audience? I'm, I'm curious. I would love feedback about this. If anyone has actual direct response to what I'm asking, I would love to hear your opinions. If you're someone who likes the game, why do you like it? If you're someone who's not enjoying it... And no, 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 no. When you ask someone for an opinion or feedback, you don't put qualifiers there, pimp. You just ask for the feedback. So uh, Ghostwire did look intriguing at first, but then after the reviews came out, initial playthroughs you didn't play this right away that was another thing uh the exposure came out of the game and it wasn't great it was boring there was nothing to really do you, you the combat was terrible um you know it, it was a really open world uh and you essentially did the same thing over and over and over again the bosses were the same everything was exactly the same so after about 10 hours of playing the game it felt like a rinse and repeat where you were doing the same thing over and over and over again. And initially, yeah, people were interested, but like you said, people tuned out and that was because it was repetitive. It was boring. You were making it extremely boring. Um, and uh, the main fact that you decided to chastise your viewers during this play stream that they weren't paying attention, they weren't engaging. So what? So what? They're there. They're giving you the views. They're giving you um you know they're giving you the viewership they're giving you the view counts they some of them did tip some of them did donate some of them did become members so why are you complaining you know stop complaining that your viewers are bored and engaging in other things like talking with each other or talking about different topics if you don't want that to happen don't play boring games 
you know, sometimes you don't have to be a completionist and you have to, you have to own that and just say, okay, it doesn't really look like people are engaged. Gauge your audience. If they want to play something different, you stop and you play something different. So that's my feedback to you, pimp. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace out.